breaking the rules, ignoring the rules, constantly doing the things we're told we're not supposed to do. Queer bodies do that best because we already know how. Queer bodies have a unique experience of movement. Every movement that we do is impacted by our gender, from the way that you walk down the street to the way that you hold your body when you're having a conversation. All of that is contextualized in your gender identity and also your gender expression. In that way, because dance is a distillation and the essence and a heightened version of the movement that our bodies do in the everyday, it makes sense to me that queer people would be dancers because they're used to moving their body in ways that they're told not to. You can't ever escape your queerness, which for some people I think can be troubling. And there are times when I wish that I could escape that context that is drenching my movement and my behavior at all times. Coming to terms with this body I had that I didn't always love, but that I was forced to confront in the mirror every single day, made it much harder for me to grow into my body and to have a good relationship with dance. I don't think that I really gained that relationship until I got to college and I met other queer dancers who related to me in a way that I can't articulate, but that comes from this shared experience of being a little bit uncomfortable and not being afraid of that, not being afraid of breaking the rules or ignoring the rules. It's something to be celebrated. It's something to carry around and exist in. We can be loud and wrong, you know, queer, odd. We're constantly pushing or destroying the boundaries of every style of dance, and that's been consistent throughout history. For me, the fluidity and freedom that I found in improvisational movement is a key component of shaping my queer identity. And the way that improvisation encourages you to open yourself up to the infinite possibilities of where your body can move in this space next, or which part of your body can move next, I think that exercise in recognizing the possibilities and the constant flow of the way your body wants to move that's incredibly informative and surprising and denying expectations. The mirror gives you immediate feedback. This doesn't look the way it's supposed to. Your body doesn't look the way it's supposed to. Doing this movement doesn't feel right. The camera is doing something more magical. It's capturing this fleeting art form because improvisation especially is lost you don't remember it there frequently aren't witnesses so improvisation is an exercise in letting go of everything that comes out of you the camera gives you the unique opportunity to rewind and see what were you feeling in that moment how are you expressing yourself in that moment? What I want to see from the film is to get that latent mirror. It was a queer dance because it was a queer body executing it and a queer body thinking about the movement and the space.